hello guys welcome back now we are going to write the code for accessing the details centered in the login.java i have already done uh, a login page wait let me show that yes this is the login window which i have already made once we are entering the information in the username and password while clicking login it has to validate our data let me show that once we are running the main project file here is the database which i have already made is connected successfully this is the username and this is the password to display the username and password we have to have to write a separate code in the in the source in the source section first let us type the username and password once we are clicking it has validated our credential and then it goes to the next frame next frame which i already made after the completion of our work once we are clicking lockout it will back it will come back to the same frame let me tell you how to validate our username and password which I, which we have already entered here is the code in your main project file we have to give this entire code we have to give this entire code which which represents string driver name driver name is a variable we are assigning a string value to to it which, uh, which contains the driver oracle driver oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver then class dot for name we have to give this entire code within a try block class dot for name driver name and to find the server name we need to go to my computer c oracle exe app oracle product 11.2.0 server network admin tns names dot ora we have to right click it and edit with notepad here you are seeing some name which is the server name and this is the server port and this is the server id we are going to use these values Here server name is money, server port is one five two one, and server ID is exe. While using, while using these values, we are getting a new URL to the database, JDBC or colon Oracle thing. At what the server name which we are used, we have to mention here, and server port also and server ID also. String username and password that will be. the backend username and password among the entire database we are separating a particular part which is a, uh, which is also a database a particular part will be assigned for this project for this project that particular part will be assigned is assigned so we have a separate username and password for for the particular database once we run our project it, the database should connect with the front end for the For the purpose, this is the code. Connection equal to driver dot get connection URL. The URL is nothing which we are which we are given here, and username and password, which is the particular database username and password. Let me tell you in the next video how to create a separate username and password for a particular database. Here uh, we are showing. username and password here we are mentioning the query select star from login which means selecting the entire retrieving the entire uh, data from the login 
string u name equal to rs dot get string one two two string which means we are getting the username from the database and and displaying in the output system uh, system dot out dot println where we are printing the username and password and this is the code for connecting the database for validating the database which we are entering username and password we have to validate that here I have used string username equal to the text user is the variable name which I have given for that particular text field and text pass is the variable name that we have that I have given for a particular password field here it is striked out because since it is a password field it is it is a confidential it should not be displayed that's why it, it, it is like this we have in the driver connection we have to get connection with the URL which I have already used in the main main file once once we are entering our once we are entering our username and password while clicking the login button this entire operation will perform select username password from login where username equal to username which we are entering whatever the username we are entering is here and what are the password we are entering is here it will compare the entered entered details with the already existing details if they are if both are matching means then it will show user found access granted otherwise duplicate user access denied or else user not found if we are if you are clicking the login button without entering any details it will show as user not found Is the phone access granted? 